Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the table. Today, we are taking a look at a knife from Ozark Trail Knives. And of course, Ozark Trail is that lovely brand from Walmart. Every holiday season, they bring out a new slew of knives to put in their center aisles by the sporting goods section. These knives are meant to be your budget holiday purchases. So do these make good gifts or not? <laughs> but this one right here has become the darling of YouTube, the darling of social media, because for $6, we are getting a knife that has an Axis lock on it. And so I think that a lot of people are kind of overlooking the, the fact that this is an Ozark Trail knife because of that Axis lock mechanism. So of course we have to keep in mind this is a $6 knife and I think people are gonna expect more than that because of the fact that we have a couple of features here that really you only see on higher end knives. So of course, let's take a look at the Ozark Trail folder right here. First off, we'll look at the specs. So this is a three inch blade with a seven inch overall length. So just that you know standard size for everyday carry, very common size, three inch blade, seven inch overall. And uh, what we do have here is a knife that weighs in at 3.2 ounces. So it's, it's lightweight, but not super lightweight for its size because of course we can see we have full steel liners on this knife. Um, so no cutouts in there. And of course for $6, you don't expect that. But also what I don't expect for $6 is a nice deep carry pocket clip like we see right here. Now granted, this is only one position. So this is gonna be a right hand side tip up carry. But when you think about it, most of the cheapy Ozark Trail knives, they have these disgusting monstrosities of a pocket clip like the one you see right here. So take a look at the comparison. So the deep carry clip on this newer model is actually a dream in comparison. And from what I can tell, um, the other newer Ozark Trail knives did not feature a nice deep carry clip like this one has here. I mean, it's even recessed into the handle where you screw it in, which is really kind of nice, to be honest with you. Um, but this is, of course, an Axis Lock, and they can't call it an Axis Lock because the name Axis Lock is still trademarked to Benchmade. But now that the patent on the Axis Lock is expired, any company can openly use an Axis Lock type mechanism. So they call it the Shaft Lock, it says right here on the, on the packaging of the knife. And uh, the action is actually, it's pretty good. It's not terrible, <laughs> but for six bucks, it's really not bad. So the blade does tend to swing pretty freely. Um, I think the more you wear in and use this knife and actuate the lock open and close, open and close, the action will get better and better over time. But I think the real question is, is anyone really going to carry this knife for such a long period? Because the blade here, um, it has a satin finish on it, but this exact model in my hand, it's pretty dull. You know, right out of the box, you do expect a pocket knife to be sharp, to be able to cut. And uh, right here, kind of on the the flattest part of the blade. There's a little recurve there, but right here below the belly, there's just a huge dull spot and it doesn't cut anything. And so of course I will sharpen this, but I did want to give you guys kind of my first impression out of the box. So that's what I am experiencing here. And so I'm sure you could sharpen it up, but I'm not sure what blade steel this is. And again, for $6, it's probably a 420, a 440 if we're lucky. You know, hopefully it's different than, you know, like the steel they put on the liners here. Um, but the sharpenability is going to be affected by that. I don't mind if the knife steel is inexpensive, if it can be sharpened up and touched up easily. That's kind of the point here. But we do have dual thumb stud action. Um, technically, you may not even need the thumb studs if you just open the knife with your axis lock. But it's there, and that's great. Um, of course, the handles here are a green color. I like this OD green material. Um, it is plastic. Um, but in hand, it does feel pretty nice. It's not really grippy or anything. I do. It has kind of like a sheen to it. I don't know how to describe it. And I don't, I don't know if the camera's picking it up either. But we can definitely see the, the color, the sheen on that. You do want to be careful, though. So the way Walmart packs and ships things, these knives are packaged with their handle exposed so you can feel it before you buy it. The downside to that, though, of course, is these plastic handles. A few of them on the shelf were completely gouged out, like there were actual physical gouges in the plastic because they had been banging against everything else, you know, in the Walmart warehouse, I guess you could say. So just take a double look, you know, before you pick one up, make sure that you're getting one that doesn't have a pre-molested handle. Um, so just something to keep an eye out for. But really, again, this is a $6 knife. Um, honestly, just go buy one. <laughs> you know, I, I, I would hate for you to watch, get this far into the video and just realize, should I buy this or not? 
you know what? They only sell these knives during the holiday season. They're probably going to sell out. Um, if they don't, then you might get lucky in a couple of months and be able to pick these up for three bucks as opposed to six bucks, assuming they last that long. But we're probably not going to see this exact model of Ozark Trail knife again in the future because every holiday season they come out with again with a brand new slew, a brand new um, crop of knives that are meant to be one season only. So if this model even looks remotely interesting to you, go pick it up. It costs next to nothing. That's why you see I bought two here on the table, just to keep one in package, just, you know, in case for whatever reason this knife, you know, gains in value over the years, which it probably won't, but I do like the idea of keeping one brand new. Um, not that I'm going to really carry this or use this very heavily, but it's an interesting curio, and for the price, as a YouTube channel, I couldn't go wrong to go buy this, so... Um, we do want to do some quick size comparisons, though, so let's take a look on the table here. We are going to compare this, of course, very appropriately to the Benchmade uh, Griptilian and Mini Griptilian. So you can see side by side, it's a little bit larger than the Mini Grip. Um, much heavier, though, the Mini Grip comes in at like 2.6 ounces, so size-wise it is heavier than, than what it should be, um, but it is significantly smaller than the full-size Griptilian here. And of course, all access lock mechanisms. That's the only reason they're on the table. Um, but I also do want to make a quick comparison, not really to the knife, but to the action. Um, we also have on the table a Chinese-made access lock mechanism. This one has bearings instead of washers. So when you actuate this um, mechanism, that blade swings like a guillotine. And so on this Walmart version, I do think this is washers. So that makes it so the blade does swing, but it's not going to be unexpectedly you know, cutting your fingers off or anything like this one here. So this purple model, I think this is an Ethan Grove. It's one of the inexpensive Chinese brands out there. And China and Chinese companies, I should say, um, have been knocking off the Axis lock for years, you know, trademark or patent be damned. Um, and this is one of their, their inexpensive models that I found probably on Amazon. I forget where I got it from, but I made a video on it. I'll put a link in the description if I can find that for you. Uh, but really, that's our comparisons for the day. So really, <laughs> I, I understand why this knife is kind of the darling of YouTube right now because the access lock as a mechanism is so unexpected on a knife that costs you six bucks. You know, so when you're browsing in that Walmart aisle and you see this one on display, go ahead and pick it up. None of the other new Walmart knives really looked of interest to me. They looked all kind of the same vein we see every year. Just inexpensive, you know, throwaway knives essentially. Um, gas station knives, but in your local Walmart section. Always do keep an eye out, though. They have some good holiday deals. Usually Kershaw throws out some really nice holiday packs every season. So keep an eye out for those. Those could be a great deal as well. And if I see anything fun like that, I'll pick those up too. Um, but again, honestly, if you want a hardworking knife, spend like twice as much as this and buy that holiday Kershaw pack. You're going to get a lot more deal and you're going to get a lifetime warranty to go with it. Um, whereas the Ozark Trail knives, once you use and abuse them, you tend to just stick them in the junk drawer and they sit there till the end of time. So hopefully this video is entertaining, guys. Any questions about this knife or if you want to see some crazy comparisons, drop a comment below. Have a nice day, everyone. See ya.